Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to say a few things. Black lives matter. That is a fact, that is not an opinion. If you are looking for ways that you can support this movement, I've put a bunch of resources into the description box. Please check those out. Please sign a petition, call your local legislation, go to a protest. Please do your part to support the black community at this time. Hello, welcome back to my channel. For pretty much my entire life, I have been a self-proclaimed picky eater. There are a lot of foods that I just don't like. Fish, green olives, eggs, eggnog, cinnamon rolls, breakfast. I don't like cake, bacon, meat in general, anything that's like baked and rich. Granola bars, I have a problem with most of them. Polenta, have you ever had polenta? It's awful. It's like wet cornbread, I hate it. At one point, it was easier to list the foods that I did like opposed to the foods I didn't like because I only would eat like 10 foods. There was a solid like year that if you asked me what my favorite food was, I would have said crackers. Crackers were my favorite food. As I've grown into an adult, there are more foods now that I am willing to eat, but there's a lot of foods that I just still just haven't eaten because I don't think I like them. Some of the foods I thought I didn't like, uh, turns out I do. Who would have thought? I gathered up a bunch of foods that I have refused to eat my entire life, and I'm gonna try them today, and I'm gonna see if they aren't as bad as I remember them being. I'm, I'm really hoping they're not. I don't wanna have a bad time, but I feel like I'm gonna have a bad time. Let's get started. The first thing I have is black licorice. I love red licorice. I love strawberry licorice, even Twizzlers. Twizzlers are like one of my favorite candies. I do not like black licorice. Whew, smells so strong. Oh man, this is not gonna be a good time. I don't wanna do this. Okay, let's go for it. It isn't as bad as I remember it being. It doesn't taste like as strong of like that black licorice flavor. What gives it that flavor? Why does it taste like that? Is it anise? Is that, or cloves? Why does it taste like, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm gonna stick to red licorice cause I really like red licorice. Okay, that was awful. On to the next thing. I have green olives. I'm actually surprised that I don't like green olives because I generally like weird things that come in small jars. I like black olives, I like artichoke hearts, I like pickles, I even like sweet pickles, but for some reason I don't like green olives. Ugh. Oh, I can't even open it. They smell yucky. I have my trusty cat spoon. I'm gonna fish out one of these olives. <laughs> I don't know if I don't like it. There's something about it that I don't like, that I really don't like, but most of it is good. There's like one like weird flavor towards the end of it that is not enjoyable, but for the most part, it's not that bad. Like, I would probably snack on these if they were there. I would eat one or three or four. There we go, this is what we do it for. Growth and progress. God, I'm not gonna eat anymore, but I am proud of myself. I feel like y'all are really gonna come for me on this one. I don't like avocados. I like avocado pits, which you would know if you follow my TikTok. <laughs> these are all my avocado pits. I have them all growing in here. Um, they all have A names. All the girls are on this bottom shelf. And all the boys are on this top shelf. Um, I have 20 of them. I have a problem. I think the texture is awful and the taste doesn't make up for it. But we're here today and we're gonna try one out. And you twist and shout. 
There we go. Wow, this is a really, this is, looks very good on the inside. Wow, my first avocado ever is beautiful. And then we're just gonna give it a nice little slice, slice, slice. I got a slice. It's an avocado. Thanks. Why are there so many vines about avocados? Okay, here we go. It's not good. It's not. You guys lied to me. Avocado toast, guacamole, avocado on a sandwich, a nice BLT with an avocado in there. No, it's gross. Ugh. We're moving on. I can't. I can't do any more of that one. That was really yucky. This next one probably would pair great with the, uh, the avocado. I got cilantro. I am one of those people that cilantro tastes like soap. I just think it's yucky and I think it tastes like soap. I also understand that you are not just supposed to eat it straight. I'm aware, but for the sake of trying things, we are going to try it straight. Oh, so bad. How do you guys eat that? I don't understand. Gross. That was nasty, the avocado was nasty. But avocado and cilantro are two of the few ingredients for guacamole. And guacamole is supposed to be better than regular avocado, so let's try it. All right, I whipped up a quick guacamole. I did the avocado, cilantro, some onion, garlic, salt, and then I didn't have any tomatoes, so I put just a little bit of salsa in there. Um, I know it's not right, don't judge me, it's just what I had in the house in the time of Corona. And I got some tortilla chips. I don't know if I got the ratios all right, I just kinda winged it, wung it, winged it, wung, wang it. All right. I still don't love it, but it is like much better. It's kind of take it or leave it. Maybe if it was like actual guacamole that was made by like a person who knows how to make guacamole and not me in my kitchen just throwing things together, then it would probably be pretty good. Just might not be for me, you know? I just might not be an avocado person. You guys can all eat all the avocados and you don't have to worry about me taking them. Okay, update. I took the guacamole that I made and I put it between toast and added some truffle hot sauce, and um, this is delicious. I don't hate avocados. Up next, we have a hot dog, but it's actually not a hot dog because I'm a vegetarian. So this is a tofurkey dog. This is so good. Wow. Maybe this is better than like a real hot dog because I know I don't like real, like whatever they're made of pork hot dogs, but it might be because this is a tofu one and not a real one that I like it. But we're gonna go with that this is progress of me as an adult becoming an adult and eating more foods. That was really good. Let's ruin it. Another food that I don't like is mustard. I literally cannot comprehend how people like it because it tastes so gross to me. But I am coming around. I do like honey mustard. I need a Dijon mustard for like a recipe about like Thanksgiving. And uh, th this was the smallest size they had. So now I just have this bottle of Dijon that's been living in my fridge for forever. It says it expires February of next year. So it's good. Oh, that was a little more than I wanted to put on there. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not that much. Let's add a tiny bit more so we can like really get in there. Oh gosh. Oh, that was, that was too much. Okay, we got mustard. <laughs> I don't understand how people enjoy mustard. Literally makes me feel like I'm gonna be sick. I put so much of it on there too. That might be why. I maybe just went a little too hard on my first time with mustard ever, but 
I just, I don't know, it's not for me. It's not for me. I'll stick to ketchup. Okay, last but not least, I feel like you guys are gonna be mad at me about this one too. I don't like sushi. I have never liked fish and raw fish just doesn't, doesn't sound appealing at all to me. So, I ordered on Postmates two different types of sushi. One of them is a spicy tuna roll and the other is a California roll. I ordered this from the best, highest rated place in my area on Postmates. Um, and these were their two most popular things on their menu. So this should be like the best that I can get in my area, hopefully. At least it should be a decent, decent quality wise. This isn't like gas station sushi. This one has like leaves growing out of it. I don't know what these little, I think those are eggs. Okay, this one I believe is the California roll because it's got the imitation crab in there. I recently found out that imitation crab, I always thought it was just like fake meat. It's just fish. Imitation crab is just fish. All right, here goes nothing. That's actually pretty good. Wow, I'm like actually surprised. It didn't taste like fish at all. It just tasted like rice. It didn't really taste like the avocado either. I'm not sure, but that was like not that bad. Huh, I feel like I can feel all the little eggs all over my mouth, which I don't like, but that wasn't that bad. My breath after it is kind of tasting like fish, which is like a little gross, but <laughs> time to try the spicy tuna. Okay, so this one has the raw fish in it, which ew. Just looking at it is like really, really getting me already. But I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna hopefully like it. I'm hoping I like it. <sighs> okay, here we go. One for the money, two for the show, three, get ready, four, two, go. like literally couldn't swallow it. No, 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 no. Like the taste wasn't bad. The taste wasn't bad. It actually tastes pretty good, but it's just the texture is just, whew. And the, the taste is actually like really good. Like the flavor's good. It's a good level of spicy, but the texture, I just can't do the texture and it. I just like, my brain wouldn't let me swallow. And I was just holding it in my mouth. And it was just yucky. It's not, it's not for me. I do understand how people like it though. If the texture was just like a little different, I would be all for it. Something about like just knowing that it's raw fish too, just like, ooh. I'm not enjoying this, I'm not having a good time. I feel like it's all right that I don't like some of these foods. Let's see, I think I liked two and a half of the things that I tried, which is better than zero, which is what I thought it was gonna be. I think at this point, I am the person that I'm going to be for probably the rest of my life in terms of things that I like eating and don't like eating. Honestly, nothing was as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do feel like maybe I can try more things now that I didn't like at some point. Maybe I will like it now. I'm not like afraid to try things because I tried some of the things that I thought were the worst. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and trying some new foods. Um, I really hope this didn't come off as uh, like wasteful or like whiny or anything. This is like just for fun. I'm not gonna just throw away the foods that I didn't like. I'm gonna give them to my family because they all like foods and I just don't, so. <laughs> Just know it's not just going to the trash. Like somebody is going to eat this food. It's not going to waste. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos from me in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. All right, later haters.